everybody, uh, Mike here with uh, just a quick update on Real Geeks and uh, just to also take care of a bit of a snafu after our last show. Uh, so real quick, uh, we are all of course in uh, isolation after the COVID-19 outbreak and we're all of course staying at home uh, until uh, everything settles down and we get the inevitable vaccine and things slowly go back to normal. Uh, but until then, um, we will of course be doing the show remotely and we have one episode in the bag already. Our review of Disney's Mulan uh, should be going up probably either tomorrow or Friday. Uh, that was really a bit of a, a test drive and something of a family affair as Vita's daughter joined us for the episode. Um, but I think going forward, we finally have a format that will work for us and at least be good enough. Uh, the only issue is, since apparently finding a video conference service that will let you have four or five people on a call at the same time and record, but not charge you money, is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Uh, we do have a solution. The only issue is going to be the simple fact that since I'll have to do a screen recording while we're doing the episode, we're gonna do our we're gonna do our best, but I can't make any promises about the sound. So it may, it's essentially it's probably not gonna be the show that you're used to in an awful lot of ways, but the episodes will still be coming, and for now, it's essentially a case of doing the best we can with what we have. Uh, that said, um, like I said, we ha we'll be releasing uh, Mulan in probably a day or two. Uh, after that, we should be recording for the uh, Canadian independent vampire film uh, Red Spring. Uh, the reason I say should be is that there's always the possibility of recording another episode before that one. And, uh, please, uh, stay tuned for that Red Spring interview because I have a very special guest arranged and it's literally a case of, with, with, without us being in this scenario and having to do everything over, uh, the internet anyway, this wouldn't have happened. So I'm essentially trying to, uh, make the situation work to our advantage as much as I can. Uh, with that being said, uh, another benefit of this is that, uh, as I'll be mentioning at the end of uh, the Mulan review, I believe, and I think I also mentioned this at the end of Bloodshot, where we'll be doing uh, predominantly older films for the time being. Um, if we can get a hold of one of the new releases that's being sent straight to uh home video, then obviously we're going to do that. Uh, but um, I guess the predominantly older films, I would love to do uh, some lesser known independent films as well. Uh, so with that being said, if you have a favorite film that didn't necessarily get uh, the uh, press that you feel it should have, Send an email to realgeekshfx at gmail.com and not only will we be happy to discuss the movie, uh, please also make sure that we can actually get the movie, uh, but we may actually be able to also arrange for you to join us on the review. Because like Again, like I said, uh, with uh, the way we're having to do this show right now, I would love to bring in just as many guests as I can pull off. Uh, finally, we had a bit of a snafu in editing with the Bloodshot review in that somehow, somewhere along the way, uh, Mickey completely missed my rating for the film uh, while she was editing. 
Uh, so that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna end the this update with that clip. And uh, until then, please, please stay home. Practice the two meter social distancing. Wash your hands. Stay safe. And let's flatten that curve. And for the love of God, get this over and done with. We'll just go into ratings now because that's where I was going to mention it. Um, personally, two and a half. It's it's stupid. It's it's incredible. It's stupid. incredibly stupid. It's not good. I. I can't recommend it. Yeah. But at the same time, I can't hate it. Yeah. I like literally I literally just left the theater with this amused expression, shaking my head like, wow, that got made. I got made. And I can't question how it got made. Because the first thing you see when the movie starts is the Sony title card. And I'm going, oh, okay. Yeah. Do you like us now? Give us money. Like us now. Give us money. Like fucking so. At the at the end of the day, the simple fact Valiant thinks they're gonna get their own Marvel universe with this. They're gonna get their own dark universe. They got big shoes to fill, and they don't quite measure up now. Because as far as starting a shared universe, uh, the only difference between the two is they didn't immediately stick a Valiant Universe card in front of the movie. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, share this video with your friends, and drop us a line anytime you like.